You can enter into a room, as it has been said, say a room in a museum where the curator will have many pieces on display, objects to art, paintings, and so forth. There can be many things in that room. Too many to see in one day sometimes in a very big museum. Like the British Museum, there's rooms where it would take you a day with a Louvre in Paris, the Smithsonian Institute. It could conceivably take you a whole day to see things in just one of the major display halls. But walking through the door is very simple. Anybody can walk through the door. <coughs> but to see everything that's in the room, requires an investment of time and effort. Well, the gospel's the same. There are many, many truths in God's word, but the gospel itself is simple. It's available to anyone. The Lord is willing to save anyone and wanting to save anyone. But it's only for those who enter the door that he shows what's in the room. <coughs> it's not for those outside the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom are reserved for those who are in it. For instance, we see contemporary events unfolding today in the Middle East and elsewhere <clears throat> that are in line with end time prophecy pointing to the return of Jesus. But it's only the faithful believers who understand those things. The world couldn't care less. The world doesn't know. Even religious people generally don't know or comprehend the meanings of the book of Daniel and Matthew 24 or their pertinence for today's world. Only the faithful people of God. The reason he didn't tell everyone is because it's not for everyone. The mysteries of the kingdom are only for those who are in the kingdom. Those who have come into a relationship with Jesus through the second birth. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you for your question. Blessings to your friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Morial catalog on the Morial website, morial.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being the Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed in the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Parpezzo, Parpezzo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, 
all available in the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.